good morning and a very warm welcome to you all this morning. It's lovely to be together once again. We have had another very difficult week throughout the world with so many people still ill or becoming ill with so many people in hospital. However, we do start to see a ray of light. Europe is starting to come out of lockdown very gradually and other parts of the world as well. And on Friday we had a wonderful celebration of Victory in Europe Day, 75 years ago this weekend. Wonderful stories of how Queen Elizabeth and Princess Margaret escaped from Buckingham Palace and danced in the streets with everybody to celebrate the end of six years of appalling war. In a strange kind of way that is a kind of comparison with today, that we are starting to come through at least the first phase of this appalling health crisis. There is hope, there is resurrection, there is Easter, and we are Easter people. As always, we meet together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hidden. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for our community, this church community. Lord, we thank you that so many have come from so many different parts of the world, but we come together in your name. Lord, we pray that each and every one of us would know your Holy Spirit rising up within us, rising up for living water to flow from us to others. Lord Jesus Christ, we make this in your most precious name. Amen. Today's first reading is taken from the first letter of Peter. Like newborn infants, long for the pure spiritual milk, so that by it you may grow to salvation. If you indeed have tasted, the Lord is good. Come to him, a living stone. Though rejected by mortals, yet chosen and precious in God's sight. And like living stones, let yourselves be built into a spiritual house, to be a holy priesthood, to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. For it stands in Scripture, See, I am laying in Zion a stone, a cornerstone chosen and precious, and whoever believes in him will not be put to shame. To you then who believe, he is precious. For those who do not believe that the stone the builders rejected has become the very head of the corner, and a stone that makes them stumble, and a rock that makes them fall. They stumble because they disobey the word as they were destined to do. But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's own people, so that you may proclaim the mighty acts of him who called you, out of darkness into his marvellous light. Once you were not a people, but now you are God's people. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. This is the word of the Lord. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory be to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, so that where I am, there you may be also. And you know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we don't know where you're going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, 
I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, you will know my Father also. From now on you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father and we will be satisfied. Jesus said to him, have I been with you all this time, Philip, and you still don't know me? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words that I say to you, I do not speak on my own. But the Father who dwells in me does his works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. But if you do not, then believe me because of the works themselves. Very truly I tell you, the one who believes in me will also do the works that I do, and in fact will do greater works than these, because I am going to the Father. I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If in my name you ask me for anything, I will do it. This is the Gospel of Christ. Praise, Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ.